This would prove to be a common practice within the stunt works. Many times, a customer would come to the stunt works with a request and on a handshake. Johnson and his team designed and built the XB80 in only 143 days, seven less than was required. But a the jet is being flown by Greg Wired Carter, a native of California who took his first flight at the age of seven in Sonoma. Booked ever since, he earned his pilot's license at the age of 18 and flew while serving in the Army in the 1980s. He retired after 27 years of service in air traffic control. Great look at this jet before he, he returns it to Earth and talks to you along the fence line about flying and how he stays in shape for these sustained G's. Rob Holland this afternoon will probably pull more G's than anybody else today, but they will be quick G's. Not to, to downplay it at any rate at all. It's very aggressive flying that Rob does. But our jet pilots are pulling sustained G's all the way through these turns. Although they look graceful, it's hard work for Greg up there. He's feeling between four to seven of aviation photographers here for this show this weekend. As you can well imagine, the attraction is the base itself of all that's flying. Mike Gillian, though, this is a dramatic video. Marky Wolver is here. Ricardo Von Kuchenkammer. From all around the world, some of the best photographers from Japan. A venture that come this weekend, too, to capture this historic and uh, very unique performances, including the double slide.
for Top Gun Maverick. It was Chuck Coleman that first took Tom Cruise up for some aerobatics and the rest of the cast to get them used to what it was going to feel like when they got into the jet fighter and to know how to react when they went through the G's. He does the same thing for airline. Nasa, you know, patay ng pagkakasa. Para we have souvenirs. Yes. Oh. 
sorry guys. But they said they closed yeah. our door over there.